Welcome to the Smart Lab Activities How to Demo Series. This demo is how to use rank order. I'm in a notebook file on a new page and I'm going to create a rank order activity, uh, an activity in which students arrange items in a proper ranked order. On the top menu, I select the Smart Lab icon. A list of lab activities opens and I scroll down and I select rank order. The rank order dialog box opens and in the fields I type the items in the order that I want them ranked properly. So I'm going to actually just use some random numbers. Over on the right, I have to choose the check answers option I want to use during the class. If I select instantly, an item bounces back to the player area right away if I put it in the wrong order. If I select when prompted, I have to place all my items in the proper order and after I'm done, I will be prompted to click check ranking and it will check all my rankings at one time. If I select don't check, the answers aren't checked during the activity. For this demo, I'm going to select when prompted. Under that, in ranking labels, I enter the terms I want to use to indicate the order, such as first on the top and last on the bottom. For this demo, I'm going to use small and large. When I'm done, at the bottom, I click next. I select a theme, I'm going to select basic. And then select finish. My activity builds and then it will appear on the page. Now during class, I can ask the students to rank the order and when all items are in place, the check ranking button will appear. So let's quickly do that. and check ranking appears, so I'll click on that. I can see that two of the answers are correct, three are wrong. So as a class, we can discuss the results and then drag the answers around to a new position. And when we're done, we can click check ranking again. And this time we can see that all the answers are correct. If I want to change something in the activity, I open its notebook page and in the top right corner of the activities player, I click the pencil icon to open the activities dialog box again and make any changes I want. One last note before I end this demo. You can add a game element like a buzzer, timer, or randomizer to this activity. I describe game elements in the demo how to add game elements to a smart lab activity in this how to demo series. Thanks for watching. Check out the other demos in this how to demo series.